What's up, y'all? So look, back with the second part of this fake news because my camera ended up not working because my storage and all of that other stuff. So this is what happened, though. far as the witchcraft, this is the revelation God gave me about that. He said witchcraft is basically for people who lack faith in him. Okay, people who might not have put in the work just yet so that they can hear him on his own. Same for the people who dwell inside the prophetic words like I was speaking about in part one. So, this is the thing though with witchcraft. People that do the crystals that be swinging and the cards and all of that. This is the thing. You actually... <laughs> you actually gain faith in these people because they look spiritual, right? That's why people do like all of the little materials that they use during prophesying over your life and you know some people like do the little hairstyles like the dreads and the jewels and all of that because it provokes people because what the devil what the devil do understand is that a lot of people they aren't close enough to god to understand what god even looks like you get what i'm saying or to discern when something is of god and when it's not so they go off what they see because people believe what they see quicker than anything right you feel me so when somebody is swinging a crystal and is moving that's going to provoke an emotional like attachment to that person that's on that channel you get what i'm saying because you're seeing something that they doing so it's like believable if you see it right but the thing is these people sacrifice things to demons the same way um christians might fast or something like that to grow closer to god even though it's like kind of different because god actually gonna speak to them directly regardless you don't need any material you feel me but they you know what i'm saying but the thing is the devil is a mocker of god so they end up sacrificing things to demons so that when they do this when they pull their cards and they swing their crystals and stuff like that they can actually have like a more detailed word for people and hear them you know what i'm saying so that they can hear demons more clearer but either way it goes though that's basically just what god wanted me to point out is that witchcraft and stuff like that you know people are gonna fall for it because they gain faith in what they see but the thing is faith is the hope for things that are unseen you get what i'm saying so if you can't have faith, you can't follow God. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't have God just standing in front of you telling you to go left or right. No, you have to have faith. You have to make the mistakes. You know what I'm saying? You have to get it wrong a lot of the times. And then you get more familiar. You know what I'm saying? With God's voice and what he's telling you to do. And then reading his word on top of that. Y'all already know that's going to help y'all get a quicker understanding of God's character. So that y'all don't fall, fall into things like witchcraft because you can see it, you know what I'm saying? To see it is to believe it, evidently, you know, in the real, you know, in the physical world. So, either way it goes though, that was the word God gave me. He said to seek for yourself. And also, God keep reminding me to tell somebody that he's proud of them and I don't know why. But I believe it's somebody that's in the beginning of their walk and stuff like that but i feel like you've put in some work to grow closer to god but ever give me god is proud of you because this is like the third time he even told me and um <laughs> he's proud of you though and i feel like you might not feel like he's proud of you you might not feel like what you're doing is a big deal you know what i'm saying because it might be something as simple as you pray every night before you go to bed but not understanding how powerful prayer is you thinking that it's just a small step whole time God looking over your life and he's thinking like how much he's about to do through you just from that small step just from you praying for other people and etc you feel me so either way it goes God just really wanted me to let you know that he's proud of you I don't know if he was asking God if he was upset with you or etc but he said no he's proud of you so that's just what it is um and it was somebody else that he talked to me too I remember right after he gave me that message of him being proud of somebody it's another message but i'm gonna make another video for that so either way it goes though god says seek and you will find that that's in his word so seek you will hear his voice on your own you don't have to rely on witchcraft you do not have to overly dwell in prophetic words and exhaust yourself from all of these people their opinions and their directions and etc no you can get direct direction from god you don't need a middleman okay that's why christ died so that he can be the middleman and we can be back connected with God even through our sins from him carrying our sins, okay? So either way it goes, that's the thing new that God gave me for today. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Bye.